Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a serum tip and trick tutorial video on ADSR. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create keyboard splits using the note macro. So some of you younger guys out there are some of you guys who have never used a hardware keyboard in your life, which is probably a lot of you, which is totally cool. You're probably wondering, well, what the hell is a keyboard split? Well, uh, when I was younger, my mom brought home a like a, some type of Yamaha workstation and that was like a pre-programmed sampler that had a bunch of cheap sounding sounds on it. And there were these split sections. It was especially cool with choir patches or string sounds where you had like a, like a bass or a cello in the lower register and then maybe a violin up high. So it's split, right? Part of the keyboard's playing one sound, part of the keyboard's playing the other. You can do the same thing in Serum. I did a lot of this with a uh, library Coda and I've done some of it with future bass patches as well. I like to do it when it makes sense in terms of kind of making a sound fit into a mix a little bit better. So right now I have a two oscillator sound in Serum pulled up and oscillator A is a saw waveform. Oscillator B is a square waveform. And oscillator B is being routed into the filter where I'm rolling off some of the highs. But let's turn off the filter for now. And let me just solo oscillator B. So if I play a low note, I have some effects on as well. So this is C2, if I go above C2, you can probably not hear that. You might be able to, right? It's really, really quiet and I can turn it all the way down. All right, so now it's off. So now this C, or this, uh, this square waveform only plays from octave C1, well it'll go lower than C1, but I'm, I'm, I'm at the C1 register on my keyboard behind me. C1 to C2. Now let's turn off, off oscillator B and turn on oscillator A. This is the inverse. It starts at D, at D2, and plays up the keyboard. So let's turn off oscillator A and turn on oscillator B again and activate the filter. So I like when chord patches. I like how square sounds on the lower frequencies sound. There's not as much high end content, they're not as buzzy. And if, I, if the other oscillator is a kind of like a saw sound, it, it evens out the entirety of the sound. So if we turn off, we turn off the filter, buzzy, turn on the filter where I have a low pass filter and I'm uh, taking out some of the high frequency, it's gonna play really nicely with our main oscillator, our oscillator A, which is the higher pitched frequency. So let's play something real quick. Right, so you so you get the idea. The square is playing below or the lower octaves and the, the saw waves are playing at a higher octave. So let, I'll show you how you can create this. It's really easy. We're gonna initialize the preset. We're gonna turn on oscillator B. We're gonna use an LFO to create a different shape. I'm gonna hold down a option on my keyboard, just click through until I get to, actually let's go to basic. We'll go to square, hold down option, boom, square. All right, so let's, uh. Let's turn off, let's do the inverse for this. Let's actually let the saw wave be the lower frequency. So go down to your note macro. You're gonna create a shape that looks something like this, okay? Now this vertical line represents like basically the cutoff point where the frequencies will stop playing at, okay? So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to, let's just keep the level up on oscillator A and we're gonna turn this one down. Right, so I'm playing a high, I'm playing a, a B3 and I don't have sound. So let's say I want this to stop at C3. All I have to do is take this, drag it all the way up and we're gonna move this line back and this line back. All right, so now C3 is quiet, right? So this is my kind of my lower frequencies. Well, let's just cap this at like we did. We're gonna do C1 to C2, so we're gonna take this back. And you can see where C2 is. See that green little dot? I'll zoom in on that. That's just saying, hey, that's the note that you're playing. So I need to drag this to basically right there. And then this needs to be a vertical line. And now if I go above C2, I play that D2, I don't have any sound. So now let's turn on oscillator B. So the way to get this to work is, 
you're going to keep that you only have obviously one note macro so you can't make two different shapes so the way that you get one to be high and one to be low is you simply just have a different starting position so we started at level 100 on oscillator a so for oscillator b we're going to start at level zero and modulate towards 100 and now this will play the high frequencies let me turn uh, this track down because that's super loud right and now it's not playing the low frequency so at c2 I don't have a sound, and that would be the saw waveform. And that is how you can create keyboard splits in Serum. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time.